Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I am going to play something in honor of the holidays. And what I'm going to play deals with our freedoms. I don't know if you've ever heard of a movie called Last Ounce of Courage. It's on my playlist, which is called A Thousand Free Movies, TV Shows, Pat Love. Last Ounce of Courage is a movie about, it reveals how we as Americans are literally losing our freedoms chip by chip. They're chipping away at our freedoms, not being able to display God's Ten Commandments, the God of this universe, and we can't display what he has ordained. Yet we could display naked boobs on magazine racks, racks that kids can see. We can display X-rated porn where kids can access on the internet. But we are at the point where people can be arrested for not cooperating. And here's the thing. Jesus said, before you decide to join the masses, Jesus said, if you will be ashamed of me in front of this sinful and perverse generation, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Now I want you to hear what this man has to say about our freedoms. Listen to this. He is pulling a cross Can somebody go help them? on the side of a building One more time. that was forced to be taken down because of one citizen out of all those thousands of people in that town. One complaint brought it down and all those people can't put it back up? You're kidding me. Motorcycle gang has come to Revere's aid and he's helping him pull the old cross into place. And now his grandson, Christian Revere, is helping in the effort. My question is, what would you be willing to do? See, we sit by too complacently, we sit by too peacefully because we don't want to get into trouble. God said, don't fear man, fear God. He's the only one that has the power to put us in hell or in heaven. And you're afraid of man? Listen to this speech. This is what I want you to hear. This is a man that stood for what he believed in. Heard, I am no longer the mayor of this town. So tonight I stand here a freedom fighter. This country was founded by freedom fighters. Men and women who love their country and their creator. 400 years ago, our forefathers left the religious oppression of another land to build this one. And the first thing they did, the first thing they did was to put a cross on the shores of the Atlantic. But it was more than a cross. It was a symbol that in this land, a citizen has the freedom to worship as he or she desires, or the freedom not to worship at all. My fight isn't about colored lights or a tree on the city square. My fight is about freedom and taking back what has been stolen from us. And it's being we stolen. Are losing freedoms, one by one, that our forefathers, our brothers in arms, and my son died for. It is time we stood up for what they died for, for what we believe in. Our rights are being destroyed perhaps forever. But don't you see? We're letting it happen. That's right. We're asleep. We sleep and they come in like a thief in the night and they take what's left. Wake up! 
Wake up! We can't sleep anymore! Wake up and look around you! Look what's coming over the horizon! We can't let the enemy take one more inch! Not one more inch! We can't be silent anymore! The silence has to stop, and it has to stop today! Young men and women are dying in foreign lands to preserve the freedoms that we enjoy every single day. Can you hear them? Just listen. It's their voices from the graves. They're wondering if they died in vain. Did they? Do we dare diminish their sacrifice by our silence? Well, if your answer is no, then you think about this. When history is written, Will history say you stood by and you did nothing? Or will history say that you fought? You fought like those brave souls. You fought to preserve the memory of the young men and women that have given everything for this country and for you. We fight for freedom. We fight for freedom. We fight for freedom. Now, that's the end of the speech. I had to have you listen to that. Because what happens is we end up having all types of controversy over the name Jesus. But nobody complains when they say Buddha, Muhammad, uh, whatever these other names are. They don't complain about that. But the one they complain about is the only one that died on the cross for your sins and mine. That we would be free. Free in every sense of the word. I'm not going to lecture because it's a hot topic. And I'm not trying to be a politician. I am trying to make all of us wake up to the fact that we cannot let our right to worship God and walk according to the ways of Jesus Christ, that we cannot be forced to disown our Savior. No way. Are you willing to go to jail? Are you willing to do time? Are you willing to lose your home? See, I have lived in my car, so I know what it's like to really do without. It doesn't make me panic like it may make some of you who have had a sweet life. You may have been born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Are you willing to lose this world and all of your belongings for the sake of God, for the sake and of your soul? Or are you willing to lose your soul for the sake of all this nonsense that people place so much value on that will be here today and gone tomorrow? I choose to stand with God. And I really hope that you choose the same. God bless you as you make your choice. And the beautiful part is, even God gives us the freedom to choose.